have this old hamper. It's kind of dirty, so I think it's embarrassing, especially since it's a hamper, you know, so I kind of keep it in the corner of my apartment, but it'd be nice to kind of bring it back to life to be able to, you know, kind of display it more because it is a cool old piece. I was just going to get my nails done. I have a date and dinner later tonight. If you can paint anything, do you think you can paint that? It's like cloth and metal. Yes, I'm down to do this. Today in our Paint Anything studio, paint expert Justin Power. Hey, my name is Justin. A little surprised to be here right now. Yeah, I bet. Um, well, I was on my way to get my nails done and I was asked if I had anything I wanted to be painted in my apartment and just so happened I thought of this piece. This thing's in kind of rough shape, but it's actually kind of really cool too. I was at a, a swap meet and I saw it. I really liked the design pieces. Obviously it's seen better dates, but I thought if I could get it home, I could try and rehab it and make it work in my apartment. But it's been about a year and I haven't been able to do anything with it myself. Yeah, you know what? I mean, there's a reason why they say they don't make the stuff like they used to, because you can tell it's still got great bones. And I think we could totally save it. All right, so if we're going to transform this, and I think it's important to get down to who you are and what your style is. What's your house look like? What do you gravitate toward? I would say my style's French romantic. Um, kind of like soft palettes, beiges, neutrals. When you say French, I think of classic grain sack. Mm -hmm. You see grain sack pillows, linens, bedding, and where this canvas, you know, this outer canvas will lend itself really well to that grain sack look. What were you thinking about for colors? I want this piece to go in my bathroom, mm -hmm. so I have a pretty neutral palette in there right now. It's really nice, clean, white subway tiles, so it really could be anything that adds a little bit of like a pop of color or just some interesting character in my bathroom. Traditionally, grain sack is kind of a washed out white with like a bluish stripe. So we could do that, we could do something really kind of fun and off the wall, like a bright blue or an orange, or something a little bit more classic, but with a modern twist, like a washed out gray, or even like a gunmetal gray. I think I like the gunmetal gray idea. The other colors are a little too bright for my taste, right. but the gunmetal I think would fit in really nicely. We'll kind of invert it, and we'll do the gunmetal gray on the body of the canvas, and then we'll do some bright white stripes down the middle to kind of really pop. Like that. All right, so we're gonna make this thing look really cool, but what are you gonna use it for? So I have no place to keep linens anywhere. I've got no linen closet, no storage space. So what I really wanna be able to do eventually is to put all of my linens, like rolled up towels, keep it in here as storage, but then have it out and visible in my bathroom. It's kind of make a statement. Awesome. All right, Caitlin, so we're gonna get started. I'm excited. And that means you are gonna put oh. this on. You got some time, right? Are you running um, off anywhere? I was just doing something silly. I was on my way to get my nails done. I have some time. So you're getting a Manny Petty, huh? Anything special going on? I actually have a date tonight. All right, well, <laughs> we're gonna take 20 minutes. I'm gonna show you what we do. The hardest thing we're gonna do is just mix the two together and stir it up. What I do like to do when I'm painting canvas or any other kind of material is I'm gonna add a little bit of water so that it thins the paint and it gets absorbed into the canvas even faster. Okay. I don't try and get too scientific because we're making art here. And I just kind of eyeball it. When I get that at about a 50-50 mix. I like this color. Yeah, and you can see it looks like a black, but it's actually like a dark, dark like slate or even like a midnight blue. And then when we add a little bit of gray to that, they're gonna kind of meet in the middle and give you that really awesome modern gray that we were looking for. All right, cool. So we're gonna take a little bit of water. We're gonna take the paint first, as you would if you were painting anything, but then we're gonna take a little bit of this water, and we're not even gonna really think about it, we're just gonna start covering it. It already does cover them all up. So I wanna give you a brush, and I want you to do like I just did. Dip it in some water to get it nice and wet, and it'll kinda of thin it out. Okay. And then you're just gonna start painting. Woo. Don't worry. And you see what the water's doing is it's thinning it out, and so we're, it's almost like we're kind of dyeing the canvas. It spreads the paint, it absorbs nice and easy, and you can see how well that covers. Wow. And that little tiny bit of paint wow. covered this entire side. So you can see that cup will be more than enough for what we need to do today. Sure. And this is gonna dry super fast, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a little bit of painter's tape, run it up and down the side, I'm gonna take that white paint, paint right over it, and it will look fantastic. Do I need to avoid these cords? No, we're gonna cover everything. Paint right on them? Yep. 
All right, Caitlin, before I let you go, I want to kind of turn it this way so we can get a little bit of paint on that front panel. Okay. I'm going to come around and hit this side so I don't have to do all the work. And then you're free to go. Okay, sounds good. So now that you can kind of see what we're doing here, I'm going to let you go get your manicure. When you come back, you're going to have your new nails, your new laundry basket. I never thought I'd be this excited about a laundry basket, but you I You haven't really seen am. anything yet. Get this back to you. Thank you. So see you in 20 minutes? Yes. Thank you. So I'm mixing up these two grays to kind of meet in the middle. And when we're painting fabric, particularly a stiffer one like canvas, we like to add a little bit of water to kind of thin the paint and help it sort of absorb a little bit easier than if we were using straight paint. And so when I mix these paints, I don't get too scientific. I'm doing a 50-50 mix and I, I basically eyeball it. And you load up your brush with as much paint as you would if you were painting anything else. If you haven't painted furniture before, don't worry about it. You painted a house, you painted walls, you painted something. It's still the same idea. You're, you're applying paint to a surface. The difference with this is we're gonna add a little bit of water just to thin it so that it not only spreads easier, but it absorbs better. You could use straight paint on fabric, but what would happen is fabric is very porous and it absorbs in a way that like a wooden furniture wouldn't. So this will end up saving a lot of paint in the long run too. So obviously painting the outside is important for how this piece is gonna look, but where this one is a functional piece, I don't want Caitlin to put her nice linens and pillows and blankets inside of something that looks like this on the inside. So what we're going to do is we're going to continue just painting the outside right into the inside. Not only is it going to make it look better, but it's also creating a barrier where it's locking that stained, gunky stuff inside and giving it a fresh, clean surface for Caitlin's linens and towels to sit on top of. Amazing. I'm glad you love it. Wow. It kind of goes with the whole look you got going on too with your leather jacket. Right, and your black just talk right in. Yeah, right. <laughs> I want to talk a little bit more about what we did yeah. just to give you a refresher. I'm sure, you know, it looked a lot different wow. when you left. We added the two grain, um, grain sack stripes along the front. We did that cool kind of gunmetal gray to give it sort of that, mm -hmm. you know, like downtown updated look. I think in my bathroom we talked about, you know, it's all clean lines and fresh anyway, so yeah. I think it's going to look amazing. The inside, it's as clean as if it were brand new. And you can start putting your linens, your towels, you can put them in tonight for your big date, show it I'm off floored. to the new guy. It looks amazing. <laughs> yeah, it was a lot of fun to work on and I think it came out fantastic. It's great. I didn't think this was a project I was going to be able to even help tackle, so I feel so much more comfortable now knowing yeah. that I can actually do something like this. You, you Really, you did about half of it, so <laughs> I can't take much dog. credit. Now go get on that date. I will, I will. All right. Thank you. See ya. That's it for me. I'm Justin Power, and remember, you can paint anything. I'll see you next time.